Alrighty, good evening. Good evening, everybody. This is your captain speaking. Hope you guys have all enjoyed the little preview that Diana showed off there uh, on the Series S. We are now playing on the big boy console on the Series X. Um, I think <laughs> let's let's jump into some flying. Uh, we have been doing well. Last time we were playing, so Blackbird, how's it going, buddy? Uh, last time we were in the middle of a bush trip, uh, so I believe we will continue this bush trip and enjoy the extremely scenic views uh, in uh, Croatia. Croatia. I think we're on to our third leg. We're either on our third leg or fourth leg. Um, but where, where does, does it show? Does it show the total map? Uh, let's see. No, it doesn't show the country shot. In any case, it's extremely beautiful and gorgeous. Let me just quickly double check. Sound volume. All right, that should be good. Let's start this flight. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the um, the complete leg that we're doing. Is that a flight path or a jogging route? That that will be the flight path that we are taking. So this is on one of the uh, activity modes called Bush Trip. So you're flying from one part of the country to the other. So you can see it's just off the east coast of Italy. Uh, and we're flying to one of the mini islands near... I assume I got my orientation right. Is that... That's not Japan. No, that's way, that's, close, that's way too close to Japan. Is it just off the... Well, the globe looks super weird there. What island is that? I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. Well, load time's a bit long on this one. So as I mentioned, we are playing on the Series X. Ah, here we go. Starting off in Zemenik. A nice little light aircraft here. Um, so during this trip, we will be using uh, a lot of the tools that are available to us. Um, we'll be using the on-screen monitor here to help gauge our uh, position, our speed, elevation. Um, we'll be using our GPS as well for when we're trying to find the airport and finding the best way to land at the airport. Uh, we've got the points of interest that we'll be keeping an eye on. It shows uh, what we need to look out for, uh, what headings we should be taking and about how long. So today's trip, uh, what's this going to take us about 20, 20 minutes for today's flight. We've got a yeah, nice, nice little cozy, cozy flight today. No one, no one in the, uh, no one in the back seat. We've got we got enough room for myself and three other people. Um, so without further ado, let's take off. Uh, so as always, we're going to blast the engines at full blast. We're going to reach seventy. 75 knots. We'll go for a nice smooth takeoff. 
Um, and then, oh, which way are we heading? We are heading, uh, continue heading east. Uh, departing from the airport, heading southeast, and quickly you'll notice a road running in the same direction. Follow it, and eventually you'll pass over a highway interchange, reuniting with the A1 motorway near the town of Benkovac. Ben Benkovac? I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, seats look extra comfy. Uh, continue southwest along the road. After a while, watch the waters. Alrighty. Let's just get the uh, the first one out of the way. So let's do this. Putting the engine up, removing the brake, and just using our rudders to uh, stay center. Oh, but we've got a bit of a crosswind. And 60, 65, 70. And we should be good for takeoff here. Perfect. So we're going to take off here. We're going to get to uh, a couple of thousand feet here. Uh, we are going to head slightly more east to get ourselves back on course. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Uh, we'll continue ascending here. And then we'll have a nice cruisy trip. So yeah, the objective here is complete the bush trip without using the get me back on track feature. So we, yeah, we will not be using the getting back on track feature. We'll be working this out with all the tools that are in front of us here. Jason is our hero. You want one of this today so bad. Can't buy a Series X anywhere though. Stay strong, dude. <laughs> They'll be stocking up, I'm sure, more eventually. But obviously, there's still the the massive semiconductor uh, shortage at the moment. That is a big issue and obviously doesn't help with everything that's going on at the moment. Uh, whoops. I don't believe I brought in my... There we go. You'll have it in maybe 6 to 12 months. Fingers crossed it's a lot quicker than that. All right, we're going to continue our ascent here. Again, just take in the view. I love all this scenic farm routes. Nice little town over to our right there. Is it as good as you expected? I mean, I, I tried playing Flight Sim on my PC, and my PC struggled to run this game. Um... And obviously, playing it on my Series X, it just runs like a breeze. I've only run into... Uh, so I've been streaming this game for maybe eight hours, I think. Um, and we only ran into one section where the game was um, juttery and... and uh, um, what's the word? Stopping. But... Yeah, it's been been gorgeous. Otherwise, haven't had a, uh, a rip, haven't had a bad experience. I love all the detail. All the detail is so cool. All of these buttons are uh, touchable and usable. One of my favorite things that they've patched into the game is in the Boeing Dreamliners. Uh, they added in the uh, buckle your seatbelts button. So on the PC version, when it first launched. Um, the buckle your seatbelts button was inoperable uh, and you couldn't use it. But thankfully, they patched it in for the Xbox version. And once we do, hey, everyone, how's it going, buddy? Once we do this trip, um, we will be jumping into the Boeing. I'll sh show you guys where the where the secret fasten your seatbelts button is. Uh, so let's make sure. 
So we're six kilometers away from our first point of interest. Uh, we are not in 4K, no, because we're we're uh, not Twitch partners. We're I think streaming in is it 720p. So yeah, unfortunately, this will not be a uh, 4K stream. So once we reach um, a decent altitude here, we're going to be sitting. I believe it's around uh, 4,000 feet. We will um, use the, the old trim and level ourselves out. Oh. <laughs> this <laughs> make me jump. Um, we'll be leveling ourselves out here. Oh, Twitch. Oh, okay. I thought you had to be a partner to get in uh, fancy high def. Okay, sweet. We're streaming in 1080 at least then. I don't even know if you can stream in 4K. I just know it's definitely not something that we're, we're not able to do. My screen, no, I don't, I don't have a 4K screen. I'm playing on my, so I've got my Series X, but it's all connected up to my computer setup. Um, I'm just keeping an eye we're coming up to our first point of interest. Uh, so we're looking out for the highway interchange. So we've got the highway running to our left here. Um, and if we go into our bird's eye view or our plane's view, uh, let's see, there is an interchange. Ooh, we wind's blowing us slightly off course. Let me bring us back on course here. Uh, go. Uh, interchange. Is that an interchange below us? It's just a bridge. I believe we're at our... We're not. We're still flying over our first point of interest. Alrighty, brilliant. I think we're almost at our optimal altitude as well. So there we go. So we just passed over our first point of interest, so we can check that off the list. Uh, continue southeast up along the road. After a while, watch for the waters of the Gudaka River. Solusing, is that the right word? Under the road and running southwest towards a lake in the distance. So we've got to keep an eye out for a lake. This game to be running 30, uh, 30 FPS runs really smooth, yeah. I mean, we haven't had a sync. We've had one issue in the eight hours of streaming this game. So, I mean, I, I can attest that... Whoops. I can attest that the Xbox Series X handles this really well. We, we've been doing all sorts of funny things. Uh, so, let me trim off here. We're almost at where we want to be. Yep, that would do. Perfect. Here we go. We are just cruising along here, taking in the sights. So how's everybody's... What day is it today? It's Tuesday, right? How's everybody's start to the week been? Uh, we're still gaining a little bit of altitude here, so we're going to line up on the markers here. We are going to trim... Are we? Oh. No, we're doing, we're doing good. We're doing good. How does it run on the Xbox? It runs fantastically. We're playing... So previously, we were playing this on the Series S. Oh, we are going to trim a little bit here. Well, previously, we were running on the Series S. We're now playing on the Series X. Uh, on the Series X, it runs like butter. Uh, let me... Using my newfound skills that I learned on the on the last stream. Oh, that's like perfect. There we go. 
How does it run on the Series S? Uh, you'll have to catch it, the stream on YouTube. Or the VOD is up currently uh, live on YouTube. Uh, and you'll see my partner, Diana, she is playing on the Series S. But otherwise, I can, I can assure you that it does run on the Series S, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, we're still quite a ways out on our first point of interest. Got plenty of time to take questions, see the sights. So we're keeping an eye out for a lake, which I believe we can already see. Um, if I bring up my cursor here, you can see the the lake just here. This is where we're heading out to. Uh, what is going on here? Looks like we've... Hold up. Ooh. Must have... Must have... Slightly changing weather, I believe. Uh, do the graphics on the Series X look as good as the PC version? They certainly do. Are there more planes to buy in the marketplace? At this point in time, uh, as of recording this stream, there is only one additional plane to buy in the marketplace, and it's this very weird uh, super light aircraft that you probably wouldn't want to fly. Oh yeah, we need a squadron call sign for when we do the multiplayer. Uh, we're about 10Ks away from where we're wanting to be. Uh, so, oh, oh. As you can see the lake on our mini-map here uh, in front of us, coming up in the distance. Get us back on course just a little bit more, about 10Ks away. We should be there in no time. Uh, and once we reach the lake, uh, we will be uh, going to Mandalina. We, we definitely, it's going to be Alpha Golf something. I don't know if we're going to get a, uh, a number in there. You can assign. Um, you can uh, assign a um, a call sign to your planes when you're playing in the uh, world map, and the uh, air traffic control will call you by whatever um, call sign you name you, you put your plane as. You know, just taking in these sites again. This, this is what I enjoy. I do enjoy the first person view uh, when, when flying the plane. Well, we are just going to try and get back on course here again. Go. Oh. Have you seen, uh, have you the new update as well? Do I install the offline mode or not? Uh, this is the preview patch, so I haven't been given an opportunity to do an offline mode. Uh, I just installed everything that I was given, and that was pretty much it. Man of you can put in this game, not even see half it. I mean, the, technically the game has the biggest map in gaming history. Uh, previous, you know, big map holders were GTA, Red Dead Redemption, Skyrim, uh, but... Microsoft Flight Simulator has the biggest map because it's literally the entire world. <laughs> that, that is the map. Coming up on our point of interest here. Use altitude hold and autopilot to keep going. Ah, do we, no, you can't use the you. There is no autopilot in um, uh, in bush trips. You have to do it all manually. I mean, this this is the preview build. So this is the preview of the full game. So it, it's it's practically practically the full game. So I do have access to all the content that's currently available. Um, on Microsoft Flight Simulator. So we will be showing that off. Right now we're doing one of the activities. We're doing the bush trip. Um, we'll, we'll finish this leg of the trip. We're already... Uh, how many uh, points do we have? We're at the... Just near the halfway point here um, of our first trip this evening. 
So, whoops, once we... Uh, once we finish this leg... Uh, we, we will check out some other stuff. Hoping it'll look nice on your 27 inch, I'm sure it will. So I currently just have a... Uh, Samsung curved 27, uh, just full HD uh, monitor. It's not 4K, unfortunately. But yeah, it, it will look uh, amazing. Be sure to download. Right now, there are the, I think, five world packs that you can download. Japan, London, Scotland, uh, New York, I think is one of them. And I think it's, uh, there's three others um, that, that bring in um, photo... What do they call it? Photo to geometry? I can't, I just can't remember the word. I can't even pronounce the word. But basically it brings all in the nice pictures of all the landmarks uh, that you can see. We're being told we need to slightly adjust. There we go. Brilliant. We are almost perfectly on track here. Coming over the uh, lake now. So again, for you, you big aviation enthusiasts, um, is one of the cool features as well, I believe Diana briefly touched on either on today's stream or yesterday's stream uh, and you can actually do a proper simulation so whenever you pick a, a plane and you do a, a world trip um, you can set up the plane to have um, failures that will happen mid-flight. Now I I've mentioned before all of these buttons are, are usable you can press them, you can do things uh, they all do something just like a real plane would. Uh, we've just hit our third point of interest, so we're going to quickly uh, line ourselves up here. Not long to go. Um, so you can set up um, things like uh, one of the engines to go out. You can set up an oil leak. Uh, we'll go through all of them as well, and it really tests your metal while you're flying. So if you do want to experience those high intensity, like, oh crap, something's broken, and I'm, you know, 20,000 feet in the air, what do I do? Uh, you can, um, <laughs> you can experience one of those for yourself. Uh, we're still gaining a little bit of height here, so we are going to... Trim the tail here. There we go. So you should be able to pre-install uh, Flight Simulator. So when the when the game does launch, uh, you should be ready to go. Just making some small adjustments here. See the plane wanting to rise up there, but we are going to just trim a little bit, just pressing the uh, right bumper button and using the right analog stick. Still wanting to gain some altitude here, but pretty happy at 7,000 feet here. Uh, what else do we need to keep an eye on? So we've got our map, we've got a GPS. Um, we're on, I'll just make a small adjustment here. And then I'll show you some of the other things that we'll be, we'll be keeping an eye on. Bring ourselves over just a little bit. Ever so slightly. And then once we balance out, whoops. Once we balance out here. What are we looking for, by the way? Um, make your way down, uh, down its western shoreline, over the village. You'll find an inlet for another river. Okay. Follow a short distance uh, to a marina at a historic city of Sibenek. 
the oldest native Croatian town on the shores of the seas. Well, we'll be checking that out shortly. Uh, let me, sorry, line this up and I'll just show you on the GPS things I, I on the lookout for. Because the most, the hardest thing is literally finding the airport and uh, knowing how close you are to the airport. Alright, I think we're good here. So, if I bring myself across here uh, using this one. Uh, zoom in a little bit. So we will be be using the GPS. Um, go to the map. GPS. Is it this one? Topographical. Uh, we want to... Where's the zoom out button? Uh, just checking my other instruments, make sure we're all good. Uh, so my tuner, don't want that. Audio level, don't want that. Uh, is it this guy? It's not that guy. I know there's a button. GPS. It's not topographical. Oh, it's this one right here. Duh. Uh, map horizontally. So we zoom out. Here we go. You see, we can see other planes on our radar here. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. That will be a good show of where the uh, airport will be. Once we're ready, let's get ourselves back on course. Uh, when can you play the game? Uh, it should be available in the next couple of hours. Um, about three hours and ten minutes. But, as I said, playing on the, on the Series X, absolutely gorgeous. We're doing one of the bush trips, so one of the realism modes, just to test our metal. I probably should have practiced. It's not working for you because the game's not out yet. So we are previewing the flight simulator. Um, what was I saying? We oh yeah, well, I need probably need to probably should have practiced some landing. When can you play the game on Xbox in about three hours? And it will be free on Xbox Game Pass. I'm sure you guys have have heard of that. If you haven't. Highly recommend going to our Twitter, twitter.com slash attackongeek, uh, and checking out one of our most recent videos. Uh, alrighty, we're coming up to our next point of interest. Let's get that ready on the map. So we're about to hit, there we go, one of the most ancient seaside towns, and we're looking for another river, I believe. So there's the historic town below us. Uh, so we're about to head southeast, so changing our bearings slightly towards the Adriatic Sea. There we go, so we've just hit our next point of interest. Oh, I think we've... Oh, we've done, uh, whoops, number four, and uh, a, step a step behind. Just, whoops, not that one. So done number four, we're on to number five. So we've only got two more to go now. Let me just bring this down a tad. Um, a road runs straight from the bay heading east uh, past the tourist village of Gres Bastiska. Follow it through the valley towards the hills. On the northern hill bank, you should see a small village surrounded by trees. All right, so we're keeping out for the small village. Oh, it's choppy there. Small village surrounded by trees. Uh, well, <laughs> that's that's a first. I uh, yeah, it was one of the challenges, but uh, I guess we're gonna have to. <laughs> Where's my? Hold on, I've got, a, I've got a thing for this. Why? <laughs> I 
Ugh, that already took me so long. Damn it. Well, that's not the first crash I've experienced the entire time I've been playing this. Oh, has it kicked me out because there's an update coming through? Is this the launch update? Well, that's uh, that's a bit annoying. thinking about it. Yeah, that was that was very bizarre. All right, well, I guess we're not doing the the rest of the the, the bush trip tonight. Um, I will show you the most important thing. We'll show you the most important thing uh, in the Boeing 747 Dreamliner. There must have been a patch or something to come through to kick me out like that. Did anyone, does anyone know if anybody else got kicked out while playing Flight Sim? Let's have a look. Did everybody get booted or is it just me? Alright, uh, just me. Oh, rip the dream. Well, while we're waiting, what's everybody else been playing? I just 100%ed. There we go. Um, I can show you guys the. Uh... Oh, they did. They did push. Um, they did push some new stuff through. Totally was. You would have seen my partner, Miss Deus Geek. Oh, they, they've literally added a bunch of new stuff. So this must be the launch content that's happening. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so now we're playing on the on the Series X. So Diana was playing on the Series S. Um, now we are playing on the Series X. Although we just had the game, we got kicked out of the game, the game crashed on us. But I can see they've updated the shop. So let's quickly get rid of that. Let's let's quickly go through. Do we have all we really care about is the uh, aircraft, right? Some nice old school. We've got the uh, Eurofighter Typhoon. Is this for the um, is this for the uh, Top Gun DLC? Maybe. Holy crap though, 40 bucks for a plane. Uh, I do like the look of this one. The amphib amphibious ultralight flying boat. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure that would be fun to fly. Uh, P40B Tomahawk. King Air C90. Uh, let's see. So yeah, just a bunch of paid DLC that's literally just hit the shop now. Enhanced airport graphics. Yeah, 40 bucks for a plane, a little bit steep for my liking. 
How are you going, buddy? Palamed, <laughs> bling. He has early access somehow. It, it's almost like we're content creators for Xbox or something. Who knows? Uh, some nice detailed airports. This this is the one thing I'm not a huge fan of is game gets released and there's just all this super premium DLC. 30 bucks for an airport. <laughs> 20, 20 bucks for some scenery. I don't know guys, not this this DLC not really for me. All right, let's double check what else uh, what did they add? What did they add? Did they add more activities? Landing challenges? Did they add some more landing challenges? I think they might have done. Let's have a look. I don't remember the Sweden one being there. I think that's a New Japan one. Yeah, those must be two New Japan ones. Let's check out the epic landings. We've got a Norway landing on a frozen airstrip. Uh, what else? Oh, that's so annoying that it butchered my my road trip. Let's have a look at. I don't think we got anything else in here. Okay, let's show you show you guys the super important thing to do. This is by far the most important thing uh, to do when you're playing this game is to get in your Boeing 47, uh, 747, sorry. Um, let's pick a daytime uh, airport. Let's go to Heathrow. Wait, so what was the point of getting on? You get additional planes for the premium deluxe. I think it's 10, 10 planes, 10 airports. Uh, and we're just gonna go to, where's the nearest airport? Do they have an airport in Scotland? No, it's gonna take too long to fly to Scotland. Uh, sure, let's just go here. Oh, I might even take too long to fly there. Let's go Gatwick. He, he threw it to Gatwick. Set, set as... Whoops. Set as... Oh, come on. Set as... Arrival. Alright, brilliant. I'm sure this will be fine. Let's load this up. So you can see the loading times, again, still on a Series X, it's still a, it's a little bit long, but once the game loads, that's it, it's done. Same for the bush trips as well. Once you start a leg of the bush trip and the game loads, once you finish a leg and you do want to jump into another one, uh, it will just play straight away. You don't, have, you don't have to go back to main menu, re go back in Alrighty. There you go. ready for departure to the west at runway so as always I, I will I will show this off every stream because it's the um, it is the absolute best so the most important button in this entire cockpit full of buttons is this button right here this this is the seatbelt button do not forget this button look listen P 
previously unavailable when this game first launched, previously unavailable, now you can do this to your heart's content. So we're putting the seatbelt sign on and uh, we're gonna take off. Uh, let's see, air traffic control. Uh, we're clear for takeoff. All right, let's do this. Throwing up. Beautiful weather in Heathrow today. And off we go. Oh. Landing gear in. You see the little, little, uh. Oh, there we go. landing gear. Gear button there. Telling us how to contact Heathrow. So we're going to continue climbing here. 365 Kids, how's it going? Thank you very much for the host. Hope you've been having a lovely day so far. Alrighty, so we are wanting to go to... Thank you very much for the follow. The... Wing camera? Um, I don't have one keybind. So we're just going to have to live with the uh, normal it's so loud outside the plane <laughs> you're going to have to approach AOG Alpha Oscar Golf 169er 3600 feet AOG Alpha Oscar Golf 169er oh, get a bit more height here hold on I'm just going to turn her down just a little bit so that is very loud I'm doing very well thank you I hope you're having a good one as well We still need to be, I was going to say, we, we definitely need to be gaining more more height here. Alright, where are we going? We're going to, we're going to be flying to uh, Gatwick, right? Alright, there we go. And get the game in two hours. It is almost here. It is almost here. All this radio chatter in my ear at the moment. so close to the airport already? What are these guys talking about? Oh my god, there's so much, so many radio channels. Yeah, so we're streaming, we're streaming from Australia, so it's 10 in the evening here on the 27th already. Uh, where are we wanting to be heading to? Alpha 
Does ground service work on Xbox? Hell yeah. Um, oh, I've, I've totally realized we, we're in completely the wrong direction here. Let's, uh, let's change our heading here. So yeah, you can actually, you can call to be refueled. You can call for um, the, uh, what is it? I don't know what the word is to be basically pulled out to the runway. Like a little machine, guy on a machine will come out and, and pull you out to the runway. So all, all of that uh, exists. You're in Sweden. Nice. You're in New York. Got people all over the world. Everyone coming together for the excitement of... Uh, the excitement of um, Flight Simulator. All right, let's, uh, let's swing back around here. I think right now my co-pilot is, is taking the wheel on the, uh... We are, we are so off, off course here. We're going to try and fix this up. On the on the Boeing's they they force you, well they don't force you, but they they do slap on all the assists to make you be able to fly the Boeing uh, pretty well. For the smaller planes, they're a lot more lenient and let you uh, trial by doing basically. All right, we're almost back on the on the right heading. We need to be. Let's level out here. Whoops. Yeah, I mean the fact that it's free on Game Pass as well. Like everybody's just going to jump jump onto this straight away. How'd you get early access by being an Xbox content creator? Feel free to check out our social channels, Twitter.com/attackongeek, or you can check out my partner's social channels, Miss Deus Geek. Um, she does a lot of the Xbox stuff. <laughs> Um, so today she got sent the uh, Flight Simulator Travel Kit. Again, you can find on our social medias. Highly recommend you go checking it out. Alrighty. Increasing our altitude here. So Gatwick, I think, is all the way in the distance over there. Can you nosedive? Hell yeah, but if you put too much stress on the plane, it will uh, black out and, and, and crash. So you can nosedive. There's no uh, actual physical damage. No, there's no crash animations. There's no crash animations. That's It's not that sort of game. It's like, um, it'd be like Gran Turismo, right? You don't really get crash animations in Gran Turismo. There we go. You need to be a super tall person to see where you're going in the uh, in the cockpit of this one. What is that? Caution, warning, master. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see. I think Dino and I, because <laughs> we obviously, we obviously we played during the preview, we're just going to sit back, relax, and watch the watch the chaos unfold. There is only one crash animation in the game, and it's when you forget to, <laughs> forget to put the landing gear on. Yeah. Where are you flying at the moment? We're flying over London. We we took off from Heathrow. I totally forgot to orientate myself and make sure that we're flying the right right area. Uh, do you know my why mine is not working? It's because it's not out yet. Game comes out in a couple of hours. We're currently previewing the game thanks to Xbox A and Z. But yeah, anyway, the whole point of this, the whole point of this was to show you guys the most important button, which is 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what I accidentally pressed there. <laughs> I don't think the plane is meant to do that. I don't think the plane is meant to do that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know what I accidentally pressed. I don't know what I accidentally pressed. Hold up, before I, before I crash, before I crash. <laughs> before I crash, before I crash, let me, let me quickly, quickly show you the most important button. Because I don't know, I don't know what I accidentally pushed here. Oh, okay, well, it <laughs> crashed, it crashed me anyway. To the right of your seat is, is the, the fasten your seat belts button. Oh dear. Whoopsies. Oh sorry, we went over landing challenges before. Yeah, so that's what that's what happens when you when you do crash. It just blacks out. You don't actually get to see the the plane explode. Uh, for those of you wanting to learn to fly, there are plenty of tutorials. Um, so you know you got airliner training. Pretty pretty self-explanatory. You've got the takeoff and landing. You've got the visual flight rules and how to use the outside world to navigate. So this is good for the um, bush trips that we've been doing. Let's see. I do want to see. Um, yeah, we can go to New York. I'm pretty sure they've got them set as a discovery flight. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's do this. Wonder if we'll see Spider-Man fly over the Avengers Tower. So this is just one of the, so we've, um, I believe New York is one of the ones where the world pack is already downloaded and installed. Um, you can see everything is uh, loading in, but right over the Madison Square Gardens will start. We've got the city, some gorgeous weather over there. We can do a trip through the rainbow shortly, but yeah, we can we can fly straight through the city. Let me just double check if we're all good. So you can see, as as we're coming into the city here, you can see some loading still happening in the background. Um, but unfortunately, it's just. The, you know, the game is so massive. Uh, this right now is not real-time weather because we're playing as a, uh, like a scenic trip. You can load in... Uh, yeah, I can't adjust the weather here. You can load in real-time weather for wherever you're flying in the world. Um, here we go. We're going to fly past the Empire State Building. Uh, so using uh, Bing Maps... Um, and the photo, I don't, I don't know exactly how it works, um, but basically just using a bunch of photo data, they can populate the, the map with all the real buildings and how they look. Maybe let's fly out. Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. There's um, Liberty Island. I don't think it's actually called that. I don't know. I'm not American. What's the island that Statue of Liberty's on? Is it Liberty Island? Let's have a fly out there. So you can... Ellis Island, that's it. You can... Um, go as low as you can without crashing 
So I, I, I do want to continue this trip. So we won't we won't go too close to the ground here. But you can you can um, yeah Ellis Ellis Island does sound right. You can do all your crazy maneuvers and attempt to fly under like all the bridges that you want. Like um, what is that bridge over there? I can't remember the name. Oh, I, I don't know all my uh, my American architecture. All right, let's fly out to yeah, Ellis Island. There we go. We do a flyby of the Statue of Liberty. So we can also, as we as we fly past, I'll try and I'll try and do the uh, active pause, where you can take all your fancy screenshots and things like that. All right, let's see if I can get a good one. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Oh no, it didn't toggle my pause. There we go. Statue of Liberty there. Yeah, it's bringing in the in the epic music as we as we fly by. Let's see, let's do unpause. Let's go for another flyby. Oh, it's going to be just out of view here. There she is. Oh. Alright, where did this... Where did the guy want me to go? He wanted me to go this way. Do you find the controls complicated? They take a little bit of getting used to. Um, obviously, unlike the mouse and keyboard, where you have a literal keyboard's worth of controls, just knowing the basics of what you need on a controller. So, it's literally a case of... Uh, accelerate uh, or increase engine speed, decrease engine speed, brake, and then you've got uh, landing gear, uh, trim. Uh, sorry, the flaps, bring them up, bring them up and down. Um, and then you, it's a case of using the left stick, clicking it in to bring up the cursor. So it takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, I very much enjoy doing the uh, bush trips and just taking the planes and flying them manually it is really enjoyable. There's rainstorm coming in here. But this is all, all dynamic weather. So again, while this one isn't live weather, the uh, I'll show you. I'll quickly show you guys the one of my favorite things to do. is we go to the world map again I won't choose the Boeing this time I'll choose my favorite plane that I've been flying recently where is it diamond quickly put on my favorite skin uh, so we'll go to Whoops. Um, oh, they did add. Uh, they did add some uh, Iceland uh, airports. They weren't there before. People were asking whether you can fly in the Arctic or not. Unfortunately, you can't. The closest you can get to the Arctic um, is Greenland. Uh, let's see. So, if we go to 
Uh, I guess this will be the e easiest place to show off. If we go to Queensland, because Queensland is absolutely gorgeous. Crit, Mr. Nightlife sent you here. Oh, that's nice of him. Appreciate you stopping by. Hey, there he is. Mr. Nightlife, welcome, welcome. Oh, let's, where's my... Uh... Come on down, come on down. Welcome and join the show. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, yeah, I, I am Tom, captain of uh, Attack on Geek. Currently showing off, obviously, uh, Flight Simulator. Just finished up before you send the love over. Much appreciated, dude. Um... I was about to show everybody my one of my favorite features, and that is the weather system. Um, so right now, we're this is the live weather from Queensland. It's at night. It's it's what's the time in New Zealand? It's half past midnight uh, in New Zealand. So obviously, uh, it makes sense. But let's say we uh, we didn't want it to be. Uh, that time is not right. They're only two hours ahead of us. They, they're not a three hours ahead of us. Um, show them all on Twitter who you and Diana are. I told them. Ah, oh, I really appreciate it, dude. Yeah, I hope you guys all saw. Diana got extremely lucky with her flight simulator kit. Uh, well, not lucky. Very fortunate. Uh, super, super nice, but well deserved. Anyway, my favorite feature. Just doing this. So you can push the time forward and backwards and the weather just changes in front of you. So you can even see, if we bring him, bring him back the night scene, you can see the uh, basically the world rotating as the stars in the background there rotate in. Now she, put, she puts in a, in, a, in a lot of hard work, so it's well deserved. Um, so if we go to the nice clear uh, afternoon, um, photo mode, uh, yeah, give me a sec, we're, we're going through this. So again, a absolutely lovely afternoon day in Queensland, even though it's not. Um, we can then change it immediately, uh, so it's raining. Again, this, this is straight away, we can jump in. And start playing raining. There's no no more additional loading. Uh, if we wanted it to be raining in the evening, well, we we just push the time forward, uh, and now it's raining in the evening. Yeah, back in Twe Qu Queenstown again. I love love showing off um, Queenstown. Um, let's see if we got sick of it being raining. Want it to be a little bit more adventurous? We can have storm going. Hear the thunder rolling in the background. Yeah, we've been doing we've been doing a lot of the bush trips. We've been I actually <laughs> I actually did I think one of the trailing training and then I just worked worked it out the rest. Um and as it sometimes does in Queensland as well, we need to also have it to be uh snowing. So yeah, what this this is this is, uh, as I said, my favorite feature. Just instantly changing the weather. Uh, whoops. Let me get rid of that now. Quickly do a takeoff here. So, engines up. Whoops. You can go to Ireland later. Probably can. We're going to do some bush trips. We're going to do some exploring. I love doing all the the first person flights. All of this detail is so good. 
Alrighty, and take off. Perfect, landing gear in. Flaps. And we are away. New Ze uh, Queensland is one of my favorite places in New Zealand uh, to, to visit and to travel to. Uh, most of Lord of the Rings is filmed here. Flaps are the... Um, so on the... What is the best place to show this? On my wings, I'll put the flaps down. So you can see this little bit that's sticking out the bottom of my wing. So uh, they uh, basically uh, decrease your speed when you're in the air. Uh, and they also help you take off. And once you're in the air, you want to make your wings go back to being flat. Uh, so you press up on the D-pad and that will uh, make your wings go back to being flat, which obviously helps you to fly. Um, you use all your, your D-pad a lot. Now, the one thing uh, I, I, I tried telling uh, a lot of people before. Miss Nightlife, appreciate the, uh, the raid, dude. I hope you have a, a, a lovely night. Um, one thing people have got to remember, a plane is not a car. You do not need to be holding down the accelerator. You do not need to be, you know, fingers all over, all over the joystick. It's flying. It's nice and easy. It's nice and chill. Meant to be... What's the... Uh, yeah. Uh, traffic controller telling me. Oh, they're just doing frequency change. Um, ski mountains just up there. There's actually, I don't know if we can fly pa past it, one of the best burger joints. It's actually, it's so funny. This is what I love, the detailed map. One of the best burger joints in the whole of New Zealand is uh, just down this way. Uh, and there's also a really good um, steak uh, restaurant called Grilled which is just on this waterfront here uh, let me see let's see how close we can get can I pin can I actually pick out oh we're about to crash no I better not can I actually pick out where Ferg Burger is let me see uh, I think Oh, there it is. There it is. So, this is the the best burger place uh, in the whole of New Zealand. Happens to be, I kid you not, because this is all all real map data. Is this place just here? So, to the uh, where my literally where my cursor is. You can look this up. This is it's just exactly where it is. Hold on, I'll bring it up on the on the on the map. Uh, Queensland Ferg Burger. I'm like none. I've, I've literally got it perfect. So if I bring up Google Maps and I I, I zoom in, like orientate just a little bit. So hold on. So that's that's where my cursor is, just down here. This is the roundabout. So if I, how do we, how do we rotate the map on, um, on Google Images? But basically, yeah, it's. Oh, I think I'm one. I think I'm one building off. It's not this one. It's sorry, sorry, my mistake. It's this one here. Ferg Burger is the is the best um, burger place <laughs> in the whole of New Zealand. But you can see that's that's the roundabout there, and that's that's the roundabout. <laughs> right there and where is uh flame bar and grill can i get that on there i can't anyway enough <laughs> enough new zealand sightseeing but yeah this is all all real real map data um that the game uses all right let's just make sure i uh i don't crash it's so the only place you can get them is um 
uh, is Queensland. Ferg Burger is, it, 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 there's just only one, and it's in Queensland. There's a gorgeous road that you take as well, um, out of and into town, that runs across the, uh, the riverbank here. Uh, and you follow it all the way, all the way down the river. Really, really good. There's a PSA. So you do have, as I was showing you guys uh, earlier, you do have the active pause, which you can use for your photo mode. Um, so you have to go in, excuse me, and um, uh, remove all your HUD and things like that. So there's no, as far as I'm aware, there's no dedicated photo mode, unless it's just something I've not seen. Uh, let's just double check. Uh, yeah, there's... Just double checking. I mean, the prob the, there's so many... Um, discard. There's so many controls and things like that. Like, I don't even use half of the controls. Let's see, camera, cockpit, drone camera, external camera. Like, half of these aren't even assigned. Uh, let's see, camera mode switches. No, not that. In any case, I'm sure you guys will f find it. It's not like they 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 won't have one. Uh, let's get back into the. Whoops. But yeah, takes takes a little bit of getting used to. Um, but yeah, really really enjoy the game. There, there's that road there that runs across, takes you back up to the airport. Um, there is a shopping center. There you go. I've been. I, this is how much I love Queenstown. There's actually a shopping center. Um, just coming up in my window here. Yeah, photo mode would be gorgeous. There we go. Brand new shopping center, I believe, just in there. Uh, that's pretty much all I've done exploring to Queensland. I've never actually. I don't believe I've crossed this bridge uh, in Queensland. I've never actually crossed this bridge. Just trying to see. These maps don't look exactly up to date because this shopping center was finished when I left New Zealand and that was two years ago. So not, not exactly perfect. But again, let's... Oh, gorgeous view. And as, as we've mentioned previously, at a drop of a hat, we just come in here change the uh, weather, boom, now we're flying in a freaking rainstorm. And we've got to account for all of the wind and, and what comes with uh, a rainstorm. And this is all in the world mode. You can only do this in the world mode. You change all the wind layers as well. Will you eventually run out of gas? You can... Um... Oh, let's see if I remember where the oh let me change this back so I don't have to focus too much on um, on my wind and stuff here yes there is a, a gas meter um, I'm just trying to think if I can remember where it is on this plane uh, let me just balance myself out here so I don't have to look at the uh, whoop. oh my word why is it using sticks while I'm in this mode Whoops. That's right. We can do one of our uh, one of our road trips. Here we go. I want to finish this one. We were doing so well on our on our last trip. Um, but yes, you will will eventually run out of gas when you land at airport. You you can re uh, request refueling um, and such. Um, you can actually set up. Um, is it real time? Yes, 
it is real time. So what we're doing right now is a real time um, trip that we'll be doing. Uh, so it's um, the, the stretch that you see just there. Uh, yeah, we got, we got to do this all, all over again. So um, the mode that we're in now, this is the one that uses, uh, it gives you no assistance. It just tells you on the map, this is where you need to go, and you just go there. It, it doesn't tell you uh, what buttons you need to be pressing or anything like that. Um, if you do somehow waste your time, you will run out of fuel. Uh, um, yeah, you can. There's, uh, because the, the maps are all based off of, um, so they don't use Google Maps, they use Bing Maps, which uses a very similar technology to Google Maps anyway. So basically in the same way that you can street view into a lot of places around the world, or at the very least you can see, uh, when you go like Google Earth, right, and you can see the rooftops of houses and things, um, you'll be able to see that in, um, uh, in Flight Simulator. So, yeah, we're just going to jump right in here and uh, take off. Uh, whoops. And we'll uh, get back onto this road trip or bush trip that we crashed out of last time when we were, we were already halfway through. So again, this is going to be uh, no assistance, just fly just by myself from what I've learned from playing the game. You do the training. I did a couple of the, the trainings. Uh, a lot of this stuff though, you just learn by doing. I, I personally feel is the, is the best way. It's just learn by doing. Um, so yeah. Had a, I've already had a lot of practice flying this plane. Done some landing as well. So we will be landing on this trip, on this leg of the trip here. So we're flying from one airport to another. Um, and I will show you guys exactly what I look for, what I need to do uh, while I'm flying. I'll show you guys how to land as well. How many large aircraft do you start off with? So I'm not sure what the base game comes with. I think you you, you definitely have one of the uh, main 747s, the large Boeings. You don't have the Dreamliner, um, though. But you do have one of the like normal commercial um, airplanes. Oh, we're already a little bit off course. Let me just fix this up. Um, Top Gun DLC is going to be a while. I can't wait for the Top Gun DLC. Just having some more beefy, more powerful planes uh, is going to be a lot of fun. Alrighty, so when I'm doing the bush trips, I do like to spend most of my time in the first person view. Again, just trying to add to the realism uh, where I can. But most importantly, it's got all my super detailed instruments here. Can you get fighter jets? You uh, Right now, there is one fighter jet that's just released on the marketplace. Literally today, it's released. Um, however, so this is something that we did speak about. The DLC content for Flight Simulator is super expensive. It's literally um, like 20 bucks plus. So if, to get the jet, it's 20 something bucks to buy a jet, to get airport upgrades, to get... Um, visual upgrades it just, it's just very 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 pricey um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of it but here we are there is enough there is plenty to keep you going just with the base game alone like there is no need uh, i personally don't see a need to spend all this money on the dlc but some people want to, some people really, really like their flight sims and want it to be as detailed as possible. Uh, other than Xbox Game Pass, is there other paid options of the game? So there's three versions of the game. There's the Microsoft Flight Simulator base game, 
there's the deluxe edition and then there's the premium deluxe edition each one of those uh, editions of the games comes with uh, an additional uh, 10 or so planes so we have the premium deluxe edition that's what we're running the, the preview off of uh, we have 33 planes right out of the gate um, we have a couple of detailed airports the main ones being like Heathrow off the top of my head um, again I personally don't see it as a necessity to do all of that we were just fortunate uh, enough that uh, Xbox ANZ gifted us uh, a code for the premium deluxe so we could check it all out but yeah I'd say I mean, at the end of the day basic games on on game pass just just play it on game pass right and then if you want to throw money at it you can This, I mean, this isn't a new thing. The previous Flight Sim games, not just Microsoft, like even, uh, is it Flight Sim X? Flight X? There's the other one that is the competitor to Flight Sim. They do the, do the exact same things. Sounds like it'll have enough fun with the bit, yeah. Can they gift me a code? I mean, if you put in a, in a crap ton of work, uh, like my partner does, uh, where you you basically work two jobs, then yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will. You can check out our website. You can see all the content that we've covered over the years. Go to attackongeek.com. You can see all our reviews. We review movies, games. Yeah, it's coming out in two hours. Get ready for the uh, the servers to all crash though, because <laughs> it seems like everybody wants to play this game. gonna uh, straighten out here so on this super peaceful journey we are heading we're in um, Croatia uh, and we're heading out to the let me see if I can see it from my cockpit I can't see it just yet we'll have to go on the outside here uh, there is a lake uh, in the distance just underneath where my cursor is we're going to be heading out to this lake here uh, and heading out to one of the uh, seaside towns. We do need to straighten up a tad here. Uh, that's as far as I've got. We got we got across the lake and then my game crashed. Wait, should I buy the game game pass? Oh yeah, buy the game pass, right? You get game pass. It's fifteen Australian dollars, fifteen ninety five. Uh, and you get to try Flight Simulator and you get to try um, all the other games that are on Game Pass as well. So Game Pass is the right way to go to start with. Uh, oh, we've already... Whoops. Wait, have we? No, we haven't. We haven't done Point of Interest 1 yet, have we? No, we haven't. Okay, we're still doing, still heading towards point of interest one. Uh, that'll be changing ever so slightly. Wait, does that say three? That's us like forty. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the one thing I get confused on. So, when you are flying uh, the plane, one of the good tips is to just remember to switch between cursor mode and non-cursor mode. When you have the cursor on the screen, you can press the triggers and it doesn't move your plane it obviously locks your plane into whatever position you're flying in so it's always good to get into a habit of it's looking like we are oh there we go almost exactly uh on course here um is to yeah lock put put the plane in the position you want it to be and press the cursor mode and then if you you know accidentally move the stick uh, plane's going to be in the direction. You, this is the way, you know when you can use to uh, look around a cockpit um, and don't worry about accidentally pressing a button and, and crashing the plane like I did uh, on the other one. So it's a good good habit to get into. Uh, you can also press the uh, right stick. So even if we're facing the wrong way, you can press the right stick and it will automatically um, correct the camera for you there. Oh yeah, with this game, I find it's just the little things uh, will help you get better at the game. Um, and 
just improve your, your overall play experience. Does the map train streaming take up a lot of bandwidth? So uh, it can do. Uh, there is actually a mode. So if you go into data, you can actually set caps. So current data consumption. So I've been streaming for about an hour or so, and we've consumed uh, 1.4 gigs of um, all the map train. So you can set limitations um, if you need to. So you can see right here, I've, I've even got like cache limit of just eight gigs. Um, but yeah, that is something that you can uh, you can limit if you need to. Uh, so we've already done point of interest one, we've got point of interest two, we've got the lake coming up in front of us, uh, so we don't have to worry about that one. We've already done that one, so we, we're well aware of that. We're just cruising along here. Uh, still, still increasing speed. Good. Probably want to just stay at this altitude, right? I don't see any reason. There we go. That's all good. Uh, have you done long flights? These are the longest flights that we've done so far. It's just the um, the bush treks, which are usually about half an hour in total. That's that's the longest flights that I've done. Um, I haven't done any of the crazy from you know like London to America or Australia to London or, or something like that. I don't have the patience nor the time to to do one of those. These bush trips though are nice. Yeah, I, I, I don't have the time to do that. I, I've seen people do that. They, they've already done that on the PC version of the game. I, I know that some people have been doing it for the preview stream as well. But not my cup of tea, really. I just like these nice, chill, bite-sized flights that we can take. still yep yeah, perfect there we go imagine doing london to australia that'd be half a day that'd be wild it's like isn't that 18 hours would you do a stopover in singapore though <laughs> just taking in the lovely scenic view here oh yeah is the let me know if the game sounds a little bit too quiet let me double check now, it seems just to be right. If I go into the outside view. Okay, that seems loud enough. Miami to LA. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna do any of the any of the crazy flights. Do not have the time nor patience. We're coming up to our Second point of interest here, we've got the lake uh, just in front of us, about 10 kilometers away, maybe 15 kilometers away. I believe this was the longest leg at 29 k's. Let's have a look. Yeah, that was the longest leg of our trip today. Um, and then again, we will be doing a unassisted... Uh, I say unassisted, I've got all, I'll have all the plane, plane tools in front of me. But there will be no... Um, geez, Azzy, appreciate it, buddy. Um, there'll be no assistance telling me exactly what to do. Does anyone know what time it will be on Xbox? I think it's going to be in about 2 hours, 10 minutes. I heard there's animals in the game. Yeah, um, I've not actually done that, but I think it's like a, almost like a safari expedition. If you go to um, Africa... Um, and do some like low flying uh, trips. You can actually uh, see animals. There's, it shows it in a, uh, a tool tip in the loading screen. I haven't actually done it myself though. But again, it's so is literally the entire globe to explore. 
I've just not had time to go through everything yet. Coming up to, come on, point of interest to, how far are we at? Oh, less, uh, five Ks away, there we go. I'm hoping the game doesn't crash again. That would be really annoying if we get to the third leg again uh, and it crashes. The, far, the scenery here is just so calm and peaceful. Love it. Oh. Five kilometers away. Should be there. Um, should be there in a couple of minutes. Let me quickly. Oh, we're coming up to. Uh, oh, we can do that. Let's quickly get my GPS here and uh, just zoom out a tad there bring up the airport on the map that we're heading to well, I think it's a bit far away all right we'll keep an eye on the GPS there I mean <laughs> it's gonna blow some people away Don't forget, there are Flat Earth members all around the globe. There we go, flying over this beautiful lake. Love this view. So we're going to be heading off um, to the east shortly. Uh, there's a little seaside town that we'll be heading uh, across. Apparently it's one of the oldest seaside towns in the world. And that very shortly. I wonder how high you can go. Um, Diana was playing before, and there's you can change some settings to go I, to literally be able to fly into the stratosphere. I've not explored that because I don't really care to do that. I just want to fly fly the planes. Um, but you can force the game to take you up ridiculously high. If you, if you jump on and watch towards the end of her stream, she's doing all sorts of crazy stuff with, um, with a Boeing, no, no less. Oh, there we go. So we just hit our point of interest. And we'll be heading up to the little seaside village that I mentioned before. Oh, not that one. It's the one over there. My mistake. Yeah, when's the Microsoft Space Simulator going to land? I mean, we've got Kerbal Space Program 2 coming out. Is it this year or is it next year? I'm pretty excited for that. I can't wait to play Kerbal Space Program. Kerbal Space Program 2. Do we have... Is that another plane behind us? What is that flashing thing on my on my map? Oh, is it not? Oh, I think it's centered on that spot. Hold on, I'm gonna need to change that. Let me just fix this up. Uh, range and control. There we go. Okay. Uh, set yeah so as I mentioned before don't forget when you, when you do play this game just remember you're not playing what's her channel? it's this channel she streams on this channel so Attack on Geek is shared by me uh, and my partner Miss Dares Geek so if you see someone who's not me on this channel it's it's my partner she, she also streams this is her, her baby I just get to uh, come along for the ride
So if you look up the uh, on our channel, it's literally the, the video before this stream. Um, the Xbox Series S preview. Because uh, she's playing on her Xbox Series S. I'm playing on my Xbox Series X. Uh, and you'll be able to see the differences as well. It's not, I mean, to be fair, it's not too much of a difference. But one big main thing she did point out is that on the Series S, for her to get the game going, she did have to delete everything off of her Series S to be able to play Flight Sim. Uh, let's see, we're coming up to the end of our third leg here. About 1.5 kilometers to go. Brilliant, brilliant. So this is the, the preview of uh, Flight Sim. So the Game Pass version will be out in a couple of hours. Uh, let's see. So as I said, if you do want to practice some crazy stuff in the plane, all of the buttons here are touchable and operatable if you just want to casually where's the the mains on oh let me just course correction here hey mish manners coming in with a raid much appreciated where's the come on down everybody welcome Welcome to the channel. This is your Captain Tom of Attack on Geek. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing? Is everybody's Tuesday night going? Welcome, welcome. Mish, much appreciate the host. Or the raid, rather. Sorry, <laughs> Twitch. Is there an option to have random failures in X minutes? Yes, there is. Uh, I love all my old school uh, game show music. We, we've got them we've got them all here I've got a whole whole heap my favorite ones are even things like uh, uh, wait do I still have this one working why are we still here just to suffer every night I can feel my leg and my arm even my fingers body I've lost we've got the comrades I've lost. we've got all the uh, all the effects over here uh, but yeah someone was asking uh, can you set up to have random flight failures you sure can um, when you're in the world map mode uh, beneath where you select the when you go into the plane selector I think it's one of the last options you can select the uh, uh, f uh, failures and things like that that will, that will trigger uh, after a certain amount of time I am way off course let me quickly correct that there we go alright we're back on track I wish there was an option, realistic world life data and mapping, so you can do any job possible you can think of. <laughs> I mean, didn't they try to do that with um, 
uh, Star Citizen. That, that's what they try to do. Star Citizen and... Um, what's the spreadsheet space game that everybody plays uh, that have all the epic, massive space battles? Um... It's not ever space. Oh, it's one of those games that I always want to get into, but it's just too much, too many spreadsheets for me. I've totally forgotten the name of the space game. Yeah, Mish, no worries again. Much appreciated, the raid. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have you played? Have you played any flight sim? You gonna be playing it on stream when it drops in literally uh when is it like an hour and a bit could you show the a320 certainly can i just would like to finish this uh trip that we're doing we're actually we're very close we're just gonna land at this airport uh that's in front of us here so not too long to go although i am slightly off course let's quickly uh, fix that up. So yeah, we'll we'll land. We'll finish this leg. We'll we'll have a land. We'll have a breather, and uh, we'll go over the uh, the cool stuff that you want to see. Oh, do you not have it on? Um, got asked to do early access, but don't have an Xbox S or X. Oof. Did you play it on PC at least? Uh, we're actually done with this one, done with this one. Uh, got three more, three more bits to go. Can't wait for the flight simulator. Can't wait for farming simulator 2022. I mean, I played Stardew Valley. I played Stardew Valley, but I don't see the appeal of, of farming simulator. Holy wows! Dame Duty Dench! Appreciate the follow. Everybody, come on down. Take a seat. Appreciate everybody stopping by. Welcome, welcome. So glad you could join us as we take a, a lovely scenic tour of Croatia. Welcome, welcome. Come on down. Take a seat. How is everybody doing? Welcome, welcome. Dame Duty Dench. Appreciate the raid. The flying is going very good. It's, it's been a super chill night. How long until we're landing? Uh, we should be landing in uh, two, about literally five minutes. Uh, you can see here if we have a look, whoops, don't throw myself off course here. Uh, if we have a look at our GPS, so we're the big white plane in the middle and our airport uh, that we're looking to land at is, uh, let me, so there we go. So we're with a big white plane. We're looking to land at the LDSP airport, I believe. Um, almost there. Almost there. This, so we're doing one of the uh, the bush treks um, where you do a flight with uh, no in-game assistance. You only have the assistance of the um, the tools that are in the aircraft. So that's what we're doing. And so we'll be landing with no assistance as well. And again, just what's with, with the, the tools that are in the aircraft um, and the directions that we're given. Whoops, make sure I don't go off here. And the directions that we're given up in my little uh, nav log uh, up here. So uh, we've just checked off 0.5. So we're literally, yeah, on, in the last, last five minutes uh, and we'll be attempting 
attempting to land. This will be my first landing of this evening. We did a couple of successful landings uh, last night. See, we're almost there. So we do need to start keeping an eye out for the airport, uh, which should be just in front of us. Let's have a look to see if we can see it. Uh, ah, I believe... Oh, no, is it a water one? I think that might be the airport there. I can't quite tell. Let's quickly jump back inside the cockpit here. We're on the... Let's have a look. Oh. I've just flown over. There we go. All right, we're on our on the last leg now. So we do want to start thinking about descending, but I do want to see where the airport is. Let's quickly double check. Should be right in front of me. Yeah, I think it's I think it's the yeah, GG to Microsoft for bringing to this console. This is a brilliant, brilliant console game. Oh, there's the there's the landing strip right there. So we are going to start prepping for landing. Uh, we get the airport strip right there. This is it. Whoops. Let's not not crash on the final hurdle here. Um, let me just minimize this now. And so what we want to do is we want to basically just want to drop off our engine speed here we do want to drastically drastically decrease our height um so what we're going to do we've got the uh we've got we've got a little bit of time here we got a little bit of time um we've got the runway here below us uh we do have a huge amount of altitude so we're just going to take a big old loop around because as we as we do descend we do maintain a bit of our speed. Um, so we're gonna do a big loop here. Uh, if we do need to put back on the engines, we will, uh, but we should just be able to loop around here. So the airport is just below us. Um, and we basically wanna to get to about uh, 2000 feet. And we wanna start learning up the, start line, uh, lining up the the air, air, air strip here, so we're coming in actually quite hot. So let me. I need to give the engine a little bit of. A little bit of speed here, just to keep us in the air. And where is this? This is the hardest part. This is the hardest part. There we go. So there's the there's the landing pole. So we're going to do a big, big U-turn. So we're just going to pull the plane around a little bit more. Uh, keep losing it, losing where the landing strip is. Cut the engine down a little bit more. All right, this should be enough. We should just be able to coast down now. Um, to the to the landing strip. This is it, guys. <laughs> this this is the hardest part of the entire journey. Just keep the keep the landing strip in view. Keep an eye on our altitude. Speed is good. And now we just want to focus on lining up our plane with the with the airstrip. So we do need to come out a little bit. Cut the engine completely now. Oh. Should be able to do this. 
There's a note in game that's very quiet at the moment. I can turn it up a little bit. It's the because we're sitting in the cockpit. The uh, it is very quiet. Oh, we might be coming in too fast here. We are coming in too fast. So I'm gonna have to bring up the engine just a bit, and we're gonna have to uh, come around for another loop here. So we're coming in slightly too fast. All right, so we'll come around again. I had a really good, really good co-pilot uh, last night who was teaching me how to do the landing. But let's uh, let's not crash the plane just yet. So we're at we're at a nice altitude get the air, there's the runway, so again, we'll fly out perpendicular to it again. We do need to watch out for this hilly area though and not uh, not crash into the hills here. Uh, are we using a controller? <laughs> it's, it's actually ridiculously difficult to um, uh, to land with a controller. It gets super sensitive as you uh, whoop as you uh, start coming down. Just want to get make it over these hills here. So after we... Uh, what can you immediately notice in the detail from the Series X to the S? Nothing. Uh, or, or rather, you can notice that it takes up all of your hard drive space. That's that's probably the big uh, giveaway. You turn down the sensitivity. Um, not so the, it literally only becomes super sensitive as you're about to touch down. The rest of the flight is absolutely fine. Let's try this landing again. Although I've I've lost sight of the runway. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yo, good night, Studly One. We're literally just about to land this bad boy. Here we go. This is much better. This is much better. We're on 1080p. All right, here we go, guys. This this is the one. Should just be able to coast over this now. Oh, I need to give it a little bit of gas. Oh, no way. Is this going to be like perfect? did it oh. <laughs> GG there we go it's as easy as that folks it's as easy as that all right let's see how we did so total flight time, 38 minutes. As I said, this is why I really enjoy the uh, bush trips. Super chill. You get to practice your takeoffs. You get to practice your landings. And this is all without the... Um, this is all the visualization you have to do. Vis is it, what do they call it? VFZ or something like that? 
Um, so if we wanted to, we can... You want to see the ground servers on 320? I'm sure we can show you that. Um, so if we wanted to, we can literally continue the bush trip um, and jump straight into the next leg of the trip. Um, so we can see this one. Uh, is that really only a 10 minute leg? Oh, it is. Wow, so that's a super short leg. Um, and we, it looks like we're, we're landing in a in a farmer's field if, if we do do this leg here. Um, but we will meet the demands of the people. We will head to the main menu. Um, and someone wants to see ground service on the 320. So let's head to the world map. Um, we'll just go to Heathrow because that will have guaranteed to have everything. Uh, and so, oh, here's the someone was asking earlier about the failures. So this is where you can set the failures. So you come into your aircraft selection, set failure. Um, so here we have complete engine failure, oil system, uh, oil leak, fuel pump failure, fire, complete failure in engine two. This is on the other side. Uh, magneto left, magneto right, cylinder one failure, coolant system going down. It's all there, and you have the same. Um, if we go into the, whoops to say one of the the bigger aircrafts uh, you've got again its own set of of failures each for all the engines and you, you can set the timing as to when that triggers yes yeah, so you um, I don't believe there is let's have a look so what is the difference between enabled and armed i think so this is enabled failure is where this is where you can have it to randomly happen and armed is where you set it like a bomb and go this is going to fail in uh in 10 minutes you can say so after we've taken off and we've flown about for a little bit uh, and it's going to last for uh i, I don't know t t 20 minutes if, if we wanted to. Um, but someone was asking uh, ground service on the 320. 320. Uh, we obviously want to put on the uh, Xbox Aviators Club uh, skin. Oh, this is the other cool thing as well. Going to weight and balances, it's got so much detail. Um, <laughs> payload, you can set how heavy the pilots are. Uh, you, you can have a, a really skinny pilot and a, a really fat pilot if you wanted to, uh, and that will all change uh, the center of mass on the on the plane. There's just so so much detail, and even like um, here we go. You've got economy class, forward baggage, rear baggage. How much business class always? Let's jump into libraries here. So this is just for uh, A320 that we've got here. Once I'd steering randomly fail or half of it, so it ended up spinning out of control. Oof. What's the heaviest the pilot can be? Let's see. I'm pretty sure you just set any number. Yeah, you can set any number, but it will throw out your center of gravity. So the plane, because the pilot is so heavy, the center of gravity pushes over to the front of the of the plane, and you won't be able to fly it. I don't like the libraries for the um, the big planes too much. I mean, they're all pretty. Eh, apart from like the Xbox One. 
Um, but here we go. So we've got departing. Uh, can, I, can I just select Heathrow as departure? And I think we can choose our runway as well. Um, ah, here we go. So you can pick. You can pick exactly where you want to be uh, for your plane. You can see all these other people as well who who are playing. Um, so let's put us here. So we can set this specific gate as um, where we're going to be. So if we go to fly, I believe. So I've not done this before, but I believe you. Uh, you can't make your own. Unfortunately, this is not Forza Horizon. So I believe once we're in the airport and we're parked, we reach out to air traffic control uh, and we ask someone to take us to the runway. Yeah, and as I mentioned before, loading times are a little bit steep, but once you're in the game, that's it. Can you crash? No, there is no... Um, as, as of right now, there is no physical collisions with other planes. You phase through them. It's like the ghost cars on Forza Horizon. All right. So you'll see, when you first come into the world, things are still loading. So you, you can either just hang out and just watch the nice scenery um, while everything's loading. You can see the planes though. The planes are always ready to go when, when the game loads in, and they always look absolutely gorgeous. What's your favorite place to land in? I don't really have a particular favorite place to land. I'm still, like, learning. I like all of the... As I said, that's why I'm doing the, the bush trips, just so I can explore, practice landing, and then maybe I'll be brave, brave enough one day to try and land one of these big planes uh, in an airport. Um, let's go ready to fly. So let's see here. Once again, for those of you just joining us, uh, the most important button, I wonder if it's slightly different on, um, oh, it is. On the Boeing 747, the most important button is off to the left, uh, off to the right here. Uh, let me see if I can find it on this one. Uh... Oh wow, it's in like a completely different spot. Maybe it's above us. Wipers. Oh, is that button active? Oh my god, we can actually turn the wipers on. Wait, where are the wipers? Oh, I haven't even turned the plane on yet. What about emergency lines and fields? And stuff if you end in third. Yeah, you can totally do it. No, not the parking brake. Um, we're looking for... Uh, you guys will... Know, as soon as I tell you guys what it is, you'll be like, ah, oh, yeah. That is 100% the most important button to know where it is. Uh... The reason why my wipe isn't going because I've not even turned the plane on yet. <laughs> that's, that's exactly why. Oh, I'm going to have to quickly Google this. All right, let me... Let me... Let me quickly Google this. Let me quickly Google this. Um, what are we in? We're in an uh, A320. Uh, 
here we go. Let me see if I can I can find where it is. So I've got the aha. Uh -huh, okay, I think it's above me. Aha! There it is. There it is. Can you guys see it? The most important button. All right, there we go. I've, I've taught, shown you guys where the most important button is. It is from from the pilot seat. You just look up, and it's just on the right there. Okay, got it. And you can also you can put on the uh, the no smoking sign as well. Although they've got the they've got the the labels the wrong way around. This one says no smoke prompt light, but it clearly says seat belts there. And this one says seat belt prompt light, but it cl clearly says no smoking. Anyways, we'll put we'll put both of them on just to be just to be safe. What is this one? Not new. okay. Anyway, um, let's bring up our checklist. So we got our pre-flight checklist um, that we can um, manually do it ourselves. So things that we want to check. If we want to check the battery switches, uh, we can highlight this. We can press the I button and it will show me where the battery switches are. We can literally just do a double check. Battery switch on. External power on if available. Let's go to the next one. It's available. Turning that on. So again, this is you can actually learn how to uh, literally you can literally learn how to fly a plane here. Uh, engine generators. Uh, oh, is that really on fault displayed? Yep. On slash fault displayed, which is good. That's what we want. Uh, so what you can also do as well, uh, engine bla blade. Where is this one? Is it on the screen? I'm just missing it. Engine bleed air switches on. Oh, there's my my window wipers. We'll probably need to switch that off in a second. Oh, it doesn't show me where this one is. Okay, that's weird. Let's see. It will show me where that one is though. Um, APU master switch open. Uh, that's on. Cool. APU start. Start it up. Yeah, they're on. They're on fast. APU start. Wait available. Let's wait for. Available. All right. Anyway, but what we can do, we can do an evaluation. And the guy will go through the list for us. So we're gonna wait for this APU start thing. There we go. He's just gonna go run through the checklist now. Hold on, if I quickly pause this, we'll go from the top. There we go. He, he's gonna run it through for us. Oh, we have to do it for him. There we go. External power. On if available. On. Generators. There we go. Running through Engine it all automatically for me now. On. APU master switch. On. APU start. There we go. We already On. already started that. APU how do you get up ground surface? We will show you. How do you get early access? You wait two hours and the game's out. Or less than that. Alright, so let's just go autocomplete page. He's just going to run that through for me. Brilliant. So what we can do... Let's minimize that. Let's go to air traffic control. Um, and here we go, ground surfaces. Uh... 
see, tune into Heathrow Ground. And here we go, requests. We can request a fuel supply. Uh, we can request, oh, let's go, request uh, catering service. Heathrow Ground, AOG Alpha Oscar Golf 169er. Could you please send the catering truck? We're sending, guys, we're sending in the catering truck. Let's see. There's the, there's the catering truck coming in. Here it comes. Uh, and while we're at it, let's just let's just get the baggage going. Heathrow Ground AOG Alpha Oscar Golf 169er. Could you please send the baggage? Send the baggage. Let's go, guys. Here we go. Here comes the guy with all the baggage. Is that the back door opening there? There you go. You can see the back door opening. They're going to start delivering uh, the food. You can see they got the baggage open there. So again, super, super uh, immersive. Yeah, got a little ramp coming. Little guys doing getting the getting the baggage. Can you view passengers? You cannot view the back passengers in the plane, unfortunately. Uh, let me just sorry. Let me minimize this stuff uh, off the screen. Yeah, there you go. Here comes the here comes the baggage. All right, guys. After we've done this, we're probably going to be calling it for the stream this evening. I've got to get up for work. Yeah, beautiful sun. This is real. Uh, this is the uh, live view of Heathrow right now. So again, if you guys missed the uh, weather exploration earlier, so right now, whoops, I had that minimized. This is uh, the live time in Heathrow. Uh, whoops, my mistake. Now we've got the live weather. Hold up. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Guess it is maybe, apparently it's live. Oh, right, I'm in Australia, not New Zealand. It's not exactly... <laughs> exactly. This is the live weather in Heathrow. It's the afternoon there, I forget. So, there goes the food truck. Done what it needed to do. I think the baggage, even though there's clearly baggage left there, is, is that... Are they satisfied? All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna request a uh, pushback here. Heathrow Ground AOG Alpha Oscar Golf One Six Nine requesting pushback. There we go. Uh, parking brake engaged. Disengaged. Parking brake. And again, we've got all the cool ramp for the people. Uh, I think we've already gone too far. I think we're too far. Go back to clearance. Yeah, I can't. I'm too far. Too far in. You see my little wind, wind wipers going wild there. But here we go. And he's taking us to the runway. I mean we've we've got the food. We've we've got the food. What more do we need? Is he going to keep pushing us back? Whoa, Miss Z! Welcome, welcome! How is everybody doing? Come on down, take a seat, 
Come on down. How is everybody doing on Tuesday night? Welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everybody doing? Thanks for stopping by, Mizzy. Really appreciate that. I hope you've been doing well. Push back stop here. There we go, perfect. We're on to uh, onto the runway here. What have you guys been playing? Let me quickly of a nosy. Can I see what you, you guys were playing? Apex Legends. How's that been going? Is the new character out yet? Uh, where do we go? Depart. Straight out. I was looking at his abilities. He looks crazy cool. Yeah. Heathrow ground AOG Alpha Oscar Golf One Six Nine or say again. Give me my ground clearance, or I, we're just going to take off. Taxi to and hold short runway two seven right using taxiway Bravo Lima two one Alpha Alpha three Alpha two cross runway two seven right Alpha one AOG Alpha Oscar Golf. Yeah, I've got no idea which uh, which one we're meant to be taking, but uh, let's just get out of here. And before anybody asks, I'm pretty confident there's no... Yeah, there we go, they just fade, fade away. Alright, let's do this. There we go. We just do the bogan takeoff. We are out of here. There's nothing they can do to stop us. Stalling? Oh, whoops. We're going up. Oh, my landing gear. That, that would probably help. Oof. We're totally competent pilot here, here guys. Don't worry. Alright, let's get out of here. But yeah, there you go. There's your there's your ground services. Everything you need to know when uh, when taking off from Heathrow. Well, that was a little boat then. But anyway, Microsoft Flight Simulator launching very very soon. Got to head to bed. Locked out tonight. Finally, yeah. Thank goodness, out of lockdown in Melbourne tonight. Just a couple of restrictions in regards to housing, but otherwise, we are out of lockdown. Good job, everybody in Melbourne. Uh, good luck <laughs> for those of you in Sydney. On the big planes like this, we can just engage autopilot and, and we can take it away.
Auto autopilot's got it from here. We we don't need any help. What's everybody else been playing? As I said, we've been enjoying the uh, bush treks, bush flights. That's where it's at. And as if you're heading to bed, good night. Appreciate yourself and bye, doing keeping me company. Why is it saying overspeed? It's literally autopilots taking care of this. Whoa, AI, it's not me. Okay, can we drop the engines? There we go. Somehow we were going way too fast. Anybody else want to see anything before we wrap up the stream this evening? This is the last call out to check out anything you'd like in Flight Simulator before we head off for this evening. Uh, again, super chill game. Looks absolutely gorgeous. Runs really well on the Xbox Series X. Uh, X, sorry, it runs on the Xbox Series S. Unfortunately though, unless you have the hard drive upgrade, you will need to remove practically everything on your Series S uh, in order in order to play it. No, thank you. Oh, good. You're welcome. Whew. Alrighty then. Well, that about does it for me this evening uh, we're going to head on out oh there we go appreciate everybody stopping by uh, we'll be back probably later on throughout the week with, uh, with more Flight Simulator uh, I'll no doubt be showing off my umbrella run of Death's Door. Brilliant, brilliant game, which is also out on uh, the Xbox at the moment. Not on Game Pass, but it is on Xbox for like 20 bucks or something like that. It's only a 97 gig preload on my Series S. On the X, um, it is. So we do have all the add ons, um, all the, the deluxe. And deluxe premium add-ons installed. Uh, we're looking at 130 gigs. So, but base game should be about 102 gigs. Oh, there we go. You you can see it there. The kid Scotty appreciate the follow. Um, but yeah. Oh, good stream. <laughs> Long stream. So you got both the you got both the Series S gameplay from Diana this, uh, this evening, got the Series X gameplay from me. Microsoft Flight Simulator launching in literally what minutes? Fifteen minutes or so? Very very soon. Uh, appreciate everybody stopping by. Hope you have a safe, lovely rest of your week. And we'll be back sometime this week. Be sure to hit the follow button if you haven't done so already. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, if you're watching on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We'll be trying to chuck up some more review contents and uh, more flight simulator goodies when we can. Thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you all have a lovely evening. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a good night.